Hello everybody and welcome to the official announcement of the NASCAR Legends Series Trilogy Tournament. What the Trilogy Tournament is, it is a tournament that hopefully I will do every three NASCAR Legends Series seasons, assuming that the NASCAR Legends Series goes on for that long. I hope it does. And what it is, is every three seasons, every single winner or champion in the NASCAR Legends Series is invited to a tournament that is an elimination style where one driver will remain champion overall. Imagine it like an expedition tournament for the NASCAR Legends Series, I guess, of all the winners and champions. So now let's go on to how the races will be formatted. So the rules, or how races will be formatted, only green flag laps are going to count. So let's say you wreck on lap 3 and there's a caution on lap 3, the race will restart on lap 4. So there will be no caution laps. And then that also means no green-white checkered. If you wreck on lap 4, you just start on lap 5, assuming there are 5 laps. So... You start on lap 5, and then you just finish on that one lap. Restart. So, the tournament will be held in four rounds, and each round will be two races, except for the championship race, which will just be one. The NASCAR Legend Series champions, Richard Petty, Jeff Gordon, and Carl Edwards, will get a first round bye. The eliminated cars will not race after they're eliminated, kind of like the Dex Tournament of Champions worked. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's on our... Uh, Erica Steps channel. It's fantastic. And then four cars will be eliminated at the end of each round, three in the first round, and I'll get to all of that in a second. Now, as we look at the tracks that I have picked out so far, round number one is going to be the Tropical Smoothie Cafe Road Course. Ignore the question mark. The road course will be the layout that I use. And then it'll be Aflac Motor Speedway for the end of round one. Round number two, first course is to be decided. Second course will be the Bojangles Road Course. The round of eight is going to be a Deja Blue Short Track, which is a road course that has not been seen by NASCAR Legend Series competition yet. It probably will in season four, but the full track, not the short track. I'll be racing the short track in the round of eight. And then Martin Dega, and then the championship is also to be decided. If we look at all of the drivers, the first round buys are Jeff Gordon, Richard Petty, and Carl Edwards, each with the championship. You can also see their win totals there. And then for the Drivers that will have to participate in every round until they're eliminated. It'll be Jimmy Johnson, Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kyle Busch, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, Daryl Waltrip, Kurt Busch, Michael Waltrip, Kale Yarbrough, and Kevin Harvick. Now for the points. In the first round, which will consist of 12 drivers, the 12 drivers that I just listed off, it'll be 12 points for first, 11 points for second, etc., all the way down to 1 point for 12th. And then you also get one additional point, for every win you have in NASCAR Legend Series competition. So if you look back, Jimmy Johnson would get five extra points at the start of the first round, and he would just have five extra points throughout the entire thing, no matter where he placed in each race. Kevin Harvick would only have one extra point throughout the entire thing, just to give you examples. Then the round of 12 works the exact same way with points, because it'll still be 12 drivers, because three drivers will get eliminated at the end of the first round, and then the three championship drivers will join in. And in that second round, wins no longer matter, it'll be three additional points for every championship you have. So the three championship drivers get three extra points on top of everything they earn, giving them a little bit of a head start in the round of 12. The round of eight will be eight points for first, seven for second, etc., all the way down to one for eighth. And there will be zero additional points, so it'll just be what you can do in that round. And then the championship is winner take all. So as the rounds progress, the advantages get less and less but especially in the first rounds where more less where there are more drivers competing, the drivers who have done better in NASCAR Legend Series get small advantages. And that is pretty much it. Um, there's not much more to say other than I am about to start filming the first race of this tournament. Uh, the lap totals are probably going to be around five, six laps a race, maybe a little bit shorter on longer tracks. But probably between five and seven a race. So they'll be shorter. And there won't be more than 12 cars in any race, so it'll be less cars than normal. But hopefully this is a nice gap filler between Season 3 and Season 4, as well as a couple of one-off races that I'm going to do. Because if I haven't said this before, I'm going to start pre-filming Season 4 very soon, which means that they'll come out in more regular increments than Season 3 did. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, get excited for the Trilogy Tournament. Because that will be coming fairly soon. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I hope you all have a good night.